This is DC Dan and Croker Zeta. It's uh, just starting to rain now. This is the 1st of April. April Fool's Day, but I'm sorry, I don't feel like uh, making any jokes today. Uh, the situation here in the field is getting very dire. So, um, I'm going to put this food out as fast as possible before I get attacked. It's uh, stormy, rainy, windy, absolutely miserable, okay? Haven't seen Charlie now for several days. Can't track him because of all this terrible things that are going on here. Last night, uh, I wasn't feeling good. I had a little touch of the flu. Um, bad sore throat, achy. I don't know. I was at the doctor's yesterday. I may have picked up something. but uh, Or just, just run down. And uh, uh, have extremely high blood pressure, which I've never had before in my life. And I think it has to do has to do with the stress. Lack of sleep and stress. Uh, so I got to go in for some heart tests. Anyway, when I turned on my computer last night, I had a comment from one of our subscribers. Evidently, um, after I left last night's feeding, um, someone threw Someone came and parked their car and went and threw firecrackers at the, uh, at the pigeons. Basically threw, threw the fireworks right at them, if you can believe that. Hopefully n none of the birds got, got hurt. I mean, that's just, that's, just, that's just going too far, isn't it? To start throwing the fireworks at the birds. I mean, you can hurt them. If I were to throw fireworks at you, on your hand or leg or whatever, you're gonna get hurt. I mean, that's just unbelievable to me. That is just really unbelievable. Don't have many crows here. They are, they're up in the trees. Um, I think, at first I thought it was a, um, a church member, but it could have been a, a, a hatefully person because there were several cars still up there. I have no idea what's going on here. Well, anyway, um, yeah. Somebody was yelling there. I don't know. Um, they were trying to cross the street or what they were doing. But anyway, uh, yeah, it was difficult. So, uh, we had a lot of cat food because Muley was up all night. I couldn't take him today because he hid away. Mornings are not good. So we have another appointment on Tuesday. But peanuts here, the crows. Gosh, it's windy and miserable here. By the way, the lady who said bala bala with her little dog came by and made some obscene gestures. And she also put the sign up yesterday because it had blown down. The terrible sign of doom that incites people to commit violent acts against other people and against the birds. By the way, this wonderful, beautiful guide of nuts. This is from Hannah, one of our subscribers. And thank you so much. They're gonna really enjoy those. By the way, I love pecans. <laughs> and the birdies do too. 
because one time at experiment I bought pecans and uh, fed them. See if they, if they like them and they love them. Of course they love them. They're just Brazil nuts. Uh, Paranusa are not good for birds. Don't feed those to birds, okay? I think it's helpful, as terrible as the weather is, that the, uh, that it's helpful for me with the birds. I'll feed Charlie's stuff down here. Anyway, uh, yeah, do you see how bad it's getting? So, I will be feeding through Easter, and then after Easter, I'm going to uh, switch to a new schedule. And I'm not going to announce that on the YouTube channel because I have a lot of enemies, and now the police looking at my YouTube channel. So, uh, anyway, I will, uh, I won't be able to take the video that I have been of the uh, masses of birds, but, but they will get their food. And uh, I will come later in the day and I will, later in the day, and I will uh, feed Charlie and take, uh, take care of him and the uh, crows with some nuts and so forth. And at that time, I will take a video of Charlie and the crows and yeah. So, but the masses of birds, I won't be able to do that. It's just too dangerous for the birds right now and for us. Okay, so um, this, this hoax of this bird flu, there's no bird flu here. Uh, there's Seymour, Seymour's landed. No, and, and to tell the people, if you find a dead bird, which you're not going to here, unless they're at the lake, then they're going to, oh, and truly going to, and a YouTube, a YouTube video. Yeah, and, uh, Oh, here we are, here we are again. There comes, there comes Seymour. There comes Seymour, there he comes. Anyway, I have another person here who wants to harass me. I thought I could escape today without uh, having to go through this again. Uh, maybe she's just gonna give up, I have no idea. She hears me speaking English. So now she's going to go after, now she's going to go after Brian. Anyway, uh, I just, uh, yeah, I, I didn't give her a chance. I'm not engaging her. So, uh, yeah, but it's just not, uh, it's, it's just not happening here. And, you know, not here, not here in the, uh, not, not here in Kreuzlingen. Okay, not here in Turgau. And so, anyway. Um, and I gave you all the facts, what we were told, what the website of, of uh, Turgau says. Uh, I, can't, I can't offer you any more than that. And what's on the website of Kreuzling is of course lies. So, but imagine telling the people, if you find an animal, uh, put it in a garbage bag and throw it in your trash. Where the veterinarian, veterinary bureau says, bring the bird down to them, it's mandatory. If you throw it in your garbage bag, it's criminal. And always has been criminal before there was any, uh, any avian flu. So, what can I say? What can I say? This city is is uh is madness okay and they're using they're using the avian flu as an excuse to shut down the bird feeding so there she got she had to get her two cents in there she had to harass Bryant, and uh and that's it playing sheriff 
amazing. Absolutely amazing. There she is. Oh, take a picture of her just so you can see who she is. Is she harassed Bryant? Anyway, this is DC Danton Crow Crusader. Wishing you a great Saturday. Tomorrow, Sunday. God only knows what will happen tomorrow. Where is my poor Charlie? Where is my Charlie? Where is my Charlie? I don't know, but I hope I hope I see him tomorrow. I'm going to put down his little food right here. Okay. He knows where to get it. Oh my gosh. This wind is so wicked. She had to come out in this wind, didn't she? She had to come out here, didn't she? Right? What's this woman looking at here? You want to be on my video? Then go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead and be on my video. Put this down for Charlie. Okay, so I'll hear all about what she said to, to Brian. Maybe Brian didn't even open the door. If you're smart, he didn't open the door. Okay, this is DC Dan Crow Crusader over and out, and we'll see you later today after this shopping center closes down. And it's supposed to be stormy all day, so okay. I'm going to get in the car because it's really, really cold. Okay. This, we'll, uh, we'll see you later. Uh, the people in the car are making obscene gestures. Okay.